you might have a WooCommerce store where you've actually got three products that you're selling individually, but you want to group them together like a bundle. Now at the moment, I've got three here which are £20 each. Now if you buy all three together, I want to give you a bit of a discount and I want it you to only pay say £55, so you get a £5 discount. Now the simplest way to do it is to create a grouped product, but I'm going to show you the problem with that and how we can get around it. And I'm going to try and use uh, methods that are really simple and easy. The first one is the simplest one with a grouped product. What you would do is go and create a brand new product, hit add new, you'd give it a name. I'm going to call this bundle grouped like that. I'm not going to bother with the description or the images or the category because you would obviously complete that. Down here where you have product data, you would go and click grouped product. And then what you do is go to linked products and into here, you now add in your items. So I'm going to type in styler. There it is. We had one called corporate and nanotech. These are all fake products, by the way. You can tell by the SKU code. So please do not purchase anything. Now, here's the big limitation with a grouped product, okay? Nowhere on here can I start to set the price. Now, you can, if you want, go and add in attributes and variables, which would kind of start to overcomplicate this. If you imagine every one of these products had three attributes, maybe color, uh, black, white, red, for instance, Three products times three attributes, you're really overdoing it now. Anyway, at the moment, we don't have anywhere to set the price. And this is why when you've published this and you now view the product, ignore the layout and the way it's built. This is a fake page. OK, what I now see is 20 pounds because it's just averaging them out. Or it's basically that's the range. If one of these items was 30 pounds, it would say 20 to 30. But the problem you have is that, look, I can basically do this if I want and I only want you to buy one of these products. So method one is just to create a grouped product, but there's nothing to stop me going, oh, well, I'm going to have 20 of those. OK, so I only I want to give you a discount when you buy them as a bundle. Now, if you wanted to lock this down so that you could only ever buy one of them and not 20, what you would do is go back to your products, go over to say one of them. Let's go for the styler one. I'm going to go into edit, go to the inventory tab. And where it says sold individually, you're going to say limit it to one per order. Now, I'm pretty sure you know what the complication with this is, but let me just show you and prove that that is exactly what will happen. You can only ever buy one of these now. In all the styling of the page is a fake test website, but you can see here I can add, I can increase and do what I want for all of the other two items. But for the styler, I can now only pick one. But there is still a limitation with this. The first one is the fact that I had to go in and go and create a, well, limit my product so that you can only ever buy one. But what if I do want you to buy more stylers? So what if you are allowed to buy 20 of them? It means you're going to have to create two styler products. And one of the styler products, which is restricted, is the one you would use within the bundle or the grouped product. So what could happen is that if you've got, say, 50 products, you're going to duplicate them 50 times. And I think that's like excessive amount of work that you have to do. And also it doesn't help when you come to maintaining because you've got to make sure both versions of that are in sync with their descriptions and their images, etc. But the other problem also is that even if I had done it and I had now limited it, you're still not getting that five uh, £5 discount. You're still paying the full price. And this is where to get around this, you would create a brand new product. I'm going to call this one bundle bespoke. And what you would do is you would pop in your description and your images in your category. And then over here is where you would go and set the price. So you wouldn't actually no, you wouldn't do that. You'd go and put 60 and then maybe put 55 like that. Because what you would have done is you would have put the description for the three items here and the images, etc. So you have your individual items and they're not restricted for you to sell individually. But if they want to buy all three, this is where they would go. Now, again, there is a little bit of maintenance here in terms of images and description. But I think that is easier than you creating three extra copies. There are plugins out there, premium ones usually, where you can now apply a bundled price. So what you could do is it would automatically apply the discount. But I think if you bear in mind that you could create a copy of your product, limit it to the sale of one, you could then have a discount discounted price in there or you just create a bespoke one where you've gone and set the price to be £55 for instance. Hey I'm Imran Web Squad and I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit.
it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.